Today I'm here at my facility again. Uh, another day, another problem pretty much. This is different from last time where I'd have to go in every single month. This time around, there's like a problem that occurred. It doesn't really happen too often. So we have to call a technician and have them fix it up. But again, this is like a pretty rare occasion for this to happen. So you're not gonna see too much of this happening. If anything, you'll probably see more of the monthly checklist rather than like a repair problem. I will go around the whole facility just to make sure that everything's you know fine with every single shop and it typically is so you don't really see too much action there. Again it's mostly if there's a problem then you'll see it and it's like more exciting but for the most part because there's no action really or like there's no problems that it's not really problematic. Okay so I will see you at the office. Maybe depending on if there's someone there or not. Alright, so I'm back at my safe secret spot, and there's not much new that we added in here. There was some like electronic waste that we added in last week, but besides that, everything else is pretty clear, pretty good to go. And uh, sorry I didn't meet you at the office because there were, well there was no one there, but it was just too quiet. I didn't really want to disturb anyone in case someone was secretly there. Yeah, now I'll be driving around the facility and checking other shops. So this is just my one shop, this hazardous waste shed that is good to go for now. And I don't know if you're allowed to come along and maybe I'll just put you on the passenger seat and like you're gonna watch at a camera angle just me driving around but you're not gonna see anything. Getting on the speed wagon. All right, so here's a little lesson. So you saw me roll the little barrel inside this shed. So that barrel came from one of my shops. So that barrel was full of waste, pretty much. And so what I did was I just took the whole barrel, put it into this shed. This is the main accumulation shed. And what I'm gonna do now is just pretty much replace the barrel for them. So I took their trash can container. I'm gonna give them a new one. And so just to be on like the organizational side, you have to slap on a little sticker that says like hazardous waste right here, basically, you know, big, bright and bold, saying that it's dangerous and it's full of something. Just to make sure no one just like opens it up and then like something explodes in their face. What you do is just put on the sticker, put it on the little barrel itself, and you're good to go. That's how I manage hazardous waste. So yes, that's what I do as a hazardous waste manager. I'm pretty much just picking up people's like waste, you know, not, not their not their human waste, but like just their hazardous waste that they generate at their shop. You know, they have a container for their waste. When it's full, they give me a call. I pick it up. And I put it in my little storage shed. And once that becomes full, then I call a third-party contractor and say, "Hey, we got lots of hazardous waste. Here's the materials that we have." And then they would come in with their paperwork, and then they would take that off our hands and then give it to a treatment facility. So that's how hazardous waste works. All right, so my manager is actually dealing with another shop. So the whole point of me going here was to just make sure, confirm, and like, I guess back up my manager who might need help for this one shop, but he's taking over it right now, so he's good to go. We get another call from another shop, and then they told me that they have this thing, this random barrel behind me, full of something. Uh, as you can see, this is not like what a normal barrel should look like. It's very like rusted up. It's been sitting out and exposed to the elements and it turns like different colors. So I got a call from them and then they told me to get rid of it. So I took it in and then I am opening it up. I don't really know what's inside there either. It says that it's empty, but it feels like it's not empty. This could be the last video I ever make. Uh, so turns out that inside this barrel <laughs> is just another barrel but I'm not for sure if that barrel within this barrel is empty. So, uh, wish me luck. This is the type of excitement I deal with. I guess just not knowing what is inside something and it could be dangerous. You're just like literally opening a barrel and hoping that it won't explode in your face. But I mean, this beats like sitting at the office. So this is like exciting. 
Alright, so within this barrel was that barrel, that yellow one. But because this barrel has been through a lot, it's been exposed to the elements and like it is sort of not cracked, but like enough so such that water can go inside in there. Some rain got in and then I tried to remove this barrel, but it was too heavy, so I had to tip this barrel over, allow the rainwater to go inside this little I guess, secondary container, and I'm gonna like clean up all that stuff till. <sighs> it's tiring. Just cleaning up other people's crap. Okay, so I use that pump right here to suck out this water, this nasty water. Uh, after I take out all the water, putting in all these rags to soak up whatever's left over. Hard work, smells bad, smells disgusting. Yeah, so, I mean, this job, it's not just an office job, it is a hard work, manual labor sort of job, and I'm sweating a little bit, so. Yeah, don't come into this job thinking that it's all fine and dandy and then you're just gonna be sitting in an office all day. Well, I mean, your job could do that, but my job does not. And to me, this is the fun part. It's most disgusting though. After cleaning and do, putting in all this work, and you know, even this barrel itself was pretty hard to get the, remove the lid, just because it's been in there for a long time. You know, the nail rusted too. In the end, inside this barrel is just another barrel. I feel like I'm putting in so much work just to open up like one of those little Russian dolls where it's like inside that doll is another doll. It's just like barrel reception here, so I feel like if I open up that barrel, it's just gonna be another barrel. So I'm going to assume that these are just like storage barrels that they had. And now they're just trying to get rid of it just because they saw this one main barrel and look rusted that they think that everything is, you know, dangerous inside. But now it's just barrels within barrels. So yeah, that's annoying. Putting all this work just to open up barrels? Oh, come on. So I was right. Uh, so <laughs> the first big barrel was this. Inside this big barrel was another barrel. Big barrel, big dirty barrel. And this big barrel, this big barrel, and this big barrel. And then finally this, inside this barrel, was a smaller barrel, which is now finally empty. So this is really just all scrap metal. So now I'm gonna dispose of it as scrap metal. And for the most part, clean ones are scrap metal. This one I'm probably gonna keep and say that it's like potentially dangerous. Just because it's pretty rusted. Yeah, and that's about it. Finally, I'm done with this. What a sort of dramatic yet anticlimactic ending to this day. So I'm just gonna take those barrels and put it in the scrap metal bin that we have in our facility. Yeah, and then after that, I'll probably go back, check out the other shop to see if it's still good to go. And then after that, I'll be going home. And it was sort of exciting today. So that was my day as an environmental engineer. Not too exciting, or maybe it was exciting, but very anticlimactic at the end. So if there's nothing else for me to do, then I'll be going home after this. So maybe I'll see you home. And that's the end for today. Goodbye. Okay, so it is roughly 12.30 or one o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm basically done with my work. I finished around maybe 11 o'clock. So this is me like scouting the entire facility. For the most part, it's pretty easy. It's very short. Again, we have a pretty small facility, so like I can do a whole roundabout, you know, base-wide facility check and then be done with it if it within like maybe two hours. So the main goal of me showing up here was because like my manager, he had a problem with the gas station pretty much. So what he did was he set up an appointment with some technician and right now they're repairing it. So I also showed up here today just to hit like, you know, two birds, one stone. I wanted to be like a backup just in case he was not available or maybe like he needs to use the bathroom or whatever, you know, just switch off. But for the most part, he has it taken care of, so I am just free to do what I need to do. And you already saw how that went. So, you know, I went to the shops, everything was good. Took whatever waste they had, like that one barrel of like oily rags. And then that one unknown barrel of supposedly or anticlimactically explosives, but you know, it wasn't 
It's just a barrel within a barrel. Got rid of that, and then, you know, that was my day for the most part. Now here I am, I'm done. So my work is not really that difficult. Uh, if anything, <laughs> editing this video is a lot more work and more time consuming than like actual work work. As of right now, being an environmental engineer for this facility, it's some of it could be like half out in the field, half like manual labor. So you saw what I did with that barrel. Some of you guys might be wondering like, is this typical for most jobs? No, probably not. It's just my job and my title. Again, it could be a little bit skewed. It could probably be renamed to environmental compliance or something else. It's not really so much like engineering because I'm not like in the office all the time. I'm just out and about sometimes doing a lot of manual labor. So if you're not comfortable with manual labor, again, for my job, you might not like it, but this could be depending on your company and you know, whatever they're asking for, for you to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go home, I'm hungry, and it's like, again, past lunch. I didn't really eat lunch, but I am for the most part done for the day. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.